Merry Christmas! So, I've decided to write a mini-musical of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I'll be playing all the parts. Uh, the first role is Clark. Here we go. All I want for Christmas is not a car or phone or clothes. I want a big family at my house, and I want to be the host. I want 10,000 sparkling lights and a giant Christmas tree. I want parents and cousins and in-laws all with me. Okay, here comes the part with Ellen. Honey, are you sure you can do this? We only have five rooms. We'll have 14 people in our house. I feel impending doom. But I love you, Clark. I'll have your back. You can count on me. After all, it is the holidays. And we're all in misery. And the week will reach a crescendo when I share the biggest gift yet. I am putting in a swimming pool with the Christmas bonus I should get. But I haven't gotten it yet. It'll get here tomorrow, I bet. Yeah. Okay, so this is the transition where he goes out to put the Christmas tree uh, in the yard, and then he runs into his neighbors, Todd and Margo, and so I'll be playing Todd and Margo's over there. Look at that imbecile walking through the snow, and that big ugly tree, where'd he get it? I don't know. OMG, it is huge, where even will it go? I don't know, Margo. Can you get me a Bordeaux? Once we're done with our jog, and we're done with our yoga, and after you shower, of course, you should go to his door and tell that man that he is so chuggy, you know? I don't know, Marco. Uh, he thinks plug-in lights are still cool. Hello. Wasting energy kills the environment, you know. Solar lights are totally the new way to go. Where do you get those, Todd? I don't know, Marco. You don't know? I don't know. Should I go to Costco? And stand in line with the commoners? As if. No. Let's just stay home on Netflix. We can binge watch a show. What's that one with Theo James? I don't know, Marco. You don't know? I don't know. You don't know? You keep asking me things I don't know. You're useless, Todd. Marco. What? What are you doing? I'm gonna go in a jog. Well, fine. Yeah, fine. Okay, so Todd and Margo go back inside. This is the part inside the Griswold house, like before the doorbell rings and the in-laws show up. It's like the calm before the storm. Everything yeah. is perfect. The trees in place and the rooms are already old. This will be so. There's a ring at the door. It's the moment that I've been waiting for it. But then my mother-in-law has a boil on her neck that she wants me to check in. My father just asked Eddie? Yep, it's me. I brought my whole family in this RV. It's got its own kitchen. Hey, you want a tour? I can poop in here and then dump it in the sewer. I'm totally broke. I had to sell my home. Really? I'm wearing basically everything I own. You can see that in my RV. It's unbelievably crappy. I mean, so you were probably wondering why I'm so happy. I've been literally wondering that for years actually well i'm happy with what i've got okay i got kids and a dog named snot yeah he's humping my leg i got a wife who i adore yeah but when you got love you're never poor i got food i can eat for free uh, how do you mean thanks to your hospitality yeah oh, good point well there's no reason to be distraught when you're I wish that I could be like Eddie, carefree and loud and dumb, but I'm waiting for my Christmas bonus, and it still hasn't come. My in-laws aren't getting along, I got a bunch of presents to wrap, and my bonus still isn't here, oh I really hope that I don't. 
won't snap. The Christmas lights aren't working. He's gonna snap. Eddie's dog keeps barking. He's gonna snap. My family's being real dramatic. He's gonna snap. And then they locked me in the attic. He's gonna snap. My uncle's hair is on fire. He's gonna snap. Our tree had a loose wire. He's gonna snap. My aunt's cat found it and chewed it. He's gonna snap. The cat got electrocuted. He's gonna snap. Wait, there's a knock at the door. He's gonna snap. Wait, there's one gift more. He's gonna snap. Is this my bonus from work? He's gonna snap. Jelly of the Month Club? That jerk! He's gonna snap. A glass of eggnog that I slam. He's gonna snap. I cuss out my fam. He's gonna snap. I scare my children and my spouse. He's gonna snap. I take a chainsaw to my house. Clark! What? Deep breath, brother. You're having a bad day, a bad season. I hear it in your voice. You got stiffed by your boss. Your career is caught up to you. And now you're ranting incoherent. Whatever happened to your Christmas spirit? Have Christmas spirit, that's what you want me to do. Yes, I do. I can't believe this is coming from you. You're a freeloading leech and you're an idiot too. Well, that's true. But I got a lot more Christmas spirit than you. How? Okay, if you've stayed with us, thank you. Uh, we're getting near the end of the musical, and this part is important. It's where we realize that the real hero isn't Clark, it's Eddie, because of his unbelievable Christmas spirit. So this is his hero song. I'm always cheerful and bright. Yeah. I know everything will be all right. And I tell my family that they're great. Even when they desiccate that turkey we ate. And I'm happy with what I've got. Oh, Clark, just to look what you've got. Well, this house has a gigantic lot, and your wife is insanely hot. Oh, thank you. Christmas is not about shopping. It's not about presents or trees. It sure as heck's not about bonuses. It's all about family, and your family loves you. There is nothing that they wouldn't do. In the end, they will have your back. Hey, where are you going, Eddie? You know what? I'm going to be right back, Clark. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. He's all right. just kidnapped your boss from his house uh -oh. but he saw your burnt tree and he smelled the burnt hair in the kitchen that my dog trashed right over there he took pity and what an unlikely event he said whatever you got last year add 20 percent oh my gosh eddie 20 percent that's amazing right isn't that great can i be honest well sure be honest i know i just said it's not about the money but you know what clark i'm gonna stop you right there yeah it's okay just okay. sing it out go for it this ending is kind of confusing. I was happy with what I've got, but then I got my bonus anyway, and I'm happier by a whole lot. Yeah, the story could have ended without getting money. Maybe it should, but you need happiness and money for screen play. Congratulations, Penn. That was beautiful. Well, thank you. Well, that was for you, knowing that this me. is not only your favorite Christmas movie, it might be your favorite, like, total movie of so all time, right? I told Penn, I, I love this movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I said, it is screaming to be made a musical. He then spent a few days up here writing these songs and playing all the parts because I can't sing. And I thought he did such a good job. If you've made it to this part of the video. Amazing. You deserve I mean, a round of applause. Yes. Um, but thank you for watching. And thank you for doing that. I loved it so much. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Check out our merch. Check out our book. Check out our blog. It's at theholdernessfamily.com.